Hello everyone, my name is Flutus Poston and today we're going to discuss the importance of email security and protecting your organization's online presence. With the increasing number of cyber attacks and phishing attacks, it's essential to have robust security control measures in place. So today I would like to just walk through some of the learning objectives. By the end of this presentation, you'll be able to understand the importance of email security and protecting your org's online presence. You'll be able to define and understand the terms SPF, DCAM, and DMARC and their respective benefits. And we'll explain how each protocol helps prevent spam, phishing, and spoofing attacks. Email security is a critical aspect of cybersecurity that requires attention from IT professionals, administration, and users alike. SPF, DCAM, and DMARC are essential protocols in preventing email-related threats and ensuring the authentication of emails. By implementing these controls, you can significantly reduce the risk of spam, phishing, and spoofing attacks on your organization's email system. Let's dive into each topic to explore how they contribute to a more secure email environment. Let's now dive into Sender Policy Framework. The Sender Policy Framework, SPF, is an email verification system designed to prevent spam and phishing attacks by verifying that emails are sent on behalf of the domain. How does it work? The domain owner configuration. The domain owner specifies which IP addresses are authorized to send emails on their behalf. When an email is received, the receiving server checks the sender's IP addresses against the public SPF record for that domain. If the sending IP address matches the one listed in the SPF record, the email is considered valid and allowed through. The benefits of this. By verifying that the email is authentic, SPF helps prevent spam and phishing attacks that are often coming from spoofed or forged sender addresses. By reducing the number of spam and phishing emails being sent on behalf of a domain, SPF can improve email delivery rates for legitimate senders. When you implement SPF, it demonstrates a commitment to maintaining a secure and trustworthy online presence, which can enhance brand reputation. So some use cases. Companies use SPF to ensure that their marketing emails are sent from an authorized IP address, reducing the risk of spam filtering. Business email services providers often use SPF to validate that the email is authentic and sent through their platforms. So by implementing SPF, organizations such as yourself can take an important step towards protecting themselves and their customers from email-related threats. Next, let's jump in to DKIM, Domain Keys Identified Email. DKIM is an email authentication system that uses digital signatures to verify if emails are authentic and sent on behalf of the domain. So how does it work? The domain owner generates a public-private key pair which is used to sign and verify emails. When sending an email, the sender's email client signs the message using their private key. The receiving server uses the sender's public key to verify the digital signature on the email. The benefits of this. DCAM prevents email forgery by verifying that an email comes from a legitimate domain, reducing the risk of phishing attacks. By authenticating emails, DKIM helps reduce spam and spoofing attacks, improving email delivery rates for legitimate senders. DKIM aligns with industry standards such as RFC 6376, making it a widely accepted authentication mechanism. You can use DKIM to authenticate business emails sent between departments or between partners in a B2B business-to-business -business communication. Additionally, your email service providers implement DCAM to ensure that their emails are authenticated and sent through their platforms, improving deliverability while reducing spam complaints. By incorporating DCAM in your email authentication practices, organizations can strengthen their defenses against email-related threats and enhance their trustworthiness of their online presence. Now that we've talked about the sender profile framework and DCAM, Let's talk about the combined strength that they offer to your organization. By implementing both a sender profile framework and DCAM together, it provides a robust defense against email related threats, enhancing your security and trustworthiness for the organization's online presence. So how do they work together? 
SPF verifies that an email is sent from the authorized IP address on behalf of the domain. DKIM signs the email content using the sender's private key, thus verifying it's authentic and preventing tampering or modification during transfer being transferred, also known as transmission. By implementing both SPF and DKIM, you provide a robust defense against email-related threats such as spam, phishing, and spoofing attacks. By authenticating emails using both SPF and DKIM, you can improve deliverability rates for legitimate senders, reducing the risk of your emails being blocked by a spam filter or dropped and marked as spam. When implementing both SPF and DKIM, it demonstrates that you have a commitment to maintaining a secure and trustworthy presence and protecting your organization by building trust with your recipients and improving email engagement. So your B2B communications, companies often have to communicate. Companies use both SPF and DCAM to authenticate business emails sent between departments, partners, and subsidiaries to ensure that they are delivered and trusted. Email marketers implement both SPF and DCAM to ensure that their emails are delivered, improving acceptable rates, and brand awareness, thus reducing spam complaints. So some best practices. It's important to implement both SPF and DCAM. By combining them, you're maximizing the effectiveness and preventing email-related threats. Regularly review and update your SPF and DCAM records to ensure that you remain accurate and effective. Remove third parties you no longer trust to send on your behalf. Make sure these records are cleaned up during M&A or when you downsize or spin off organizations. Monitor your email delivery metrics, such as spam complaint rates and delivery rates, to gauge the effectiveness of your SPF and DKIM implementation. So by combining these, you can significantly impress, enhance and impress the security and trustworthiness of your organization's online presence, reducing email related threats while improving brand awareness and delivery rates. Now let's discuss domain-based message authentication, reporting, and conformance, DMARC. DMARC is an email authentication protocol that helps protect against email spoofing by allowing domain owners to specify policies for messages that fail SPF and or DKIM verification. DKIM checks if the sender's domain reaches the domain in the from header of the email. If the domain does not match or the message fails SPF and or DKIM verification, DMARC enforces a policy set by the domain owner, such as quarantining or rejecting the message. DMARC generates a report that helps domain owners understand how their messages are being authenticated and identify potential security threats. DMARC helps prevent email spoofing by making it difficult for attackers to send emails that appear to come from a legitimate domain. By enforcing policies on messages that fail SPF and or DCAN verification, DMARC can improve deliverability rates for legitimate senders. When implementing DMARC, you help demonstrate a commitment to maintaining a secure and trustworthy online presence, which can enhance your domain reputation with Google, Alexa, and other marketing firms who track the use of spam domains. In common use cases, your email marketing Organizations and team will use DMARC to ensure that their marketing emails are authenticated and protected from spoofing. And it helps and enhances business communication. Companies use DMARC to authenticate business emails sent between themselves, their partners, their, their third-party entities, and any other trusted party. Policy options with inside of DMARC. You can set none. No policy is enforced for the message that fell SPF and or DKIM. Quarantine. These messages are quarantined if they fail either SPF or DKIM. Reject. Messages are rejected if they fail SPF or DKIM verification. Your best practices is to ensure that DMARC in conjunction with your SPF and DKIM is set there for your maximum effectiveness and preventing email related threats. Similar as we discussed before, review and update your records. Regularly review and make sure that your records ensure that they have accurate and effective policies, procedures, IPs, and domains. Monitor your metrics. Make sure that your messages are being delivered, that you're not seeing a high spam rate, and that 
to gauge the effectiveness of your implementation. Check to see if you need to release quarantine messages. Make sure that you properly set up these policies. So by implementing DCAM, you can significantly increase the security and trustworthiness of your organization, reducing spoofing and phishing attacks, while improving delivery rates and the trust of your users and or partners. Now for the powerful trio, DMARC plus SPS and DCAM equals enhanced email security. When implementing DCAM with SPF and DMARC, you're creating a robust defense against email threats. This powerful combina combination offers enhanced security benefits to protect your organization. By enforcing policies on message that fail your SPF and DCAM, DMARC prevents attackers from sending emails that appear to come from legitimate domains. So this is your lookalike domains using acrylic or other fonts to make the domain look like a legitimate domain. The combination of SPF, DCAM, and DMARC ensures that emails are authenticated through multiple channels, making it extremely difficult for attackers to spoof or manipulate your email content, thus reducing the risk of spam and phishing attacks. When you implement this security trio, you're demonstrating again that you understand the risk that email has on your environment. You're protecting your employees, your customers, your clients, your partners, by ensuring that you are demonstrating commitment to a secure environment, by enhancing your domain reputation and building trust that you will not spam individuals. So how does it work together? SPF, to recap, verifies that an email is sent from an authorized IP. DCAM signs the email content, ensuring it's not been tampered with during transmission. And your DCAM policy enforcement enforces policies on message that fail SPF or DCAM, such as quarantining or simply, simply rejecting the message. Implement all three protocols for maximum effectiveness. Again, review and update your records anytime there's a big or any change to your organization, such as m and and or domain changes, moving from Google or Microsoft or vice versa. Monitor your delivery metrics to ensure your spam rates are not too high and that your delivery rates are effectively gauged. You can simply enhance quickly by implementing DMARC, SPF, and DCAM to reduce the social engineering attacks of phishing emails, of business email compromise, and other email threats while ensuring legitimate emails are delivered to your users and your partners. Now let's talk about the benefits of email security. By enhancing email security, you can enhance your reputation, reduce risk, and improve delivery. A secure email infrastructure demonstrates commitment to protecting sensitive information and maintaining trustworthy business practices. This can lead to increased customer trust and loyalty. Email security reduces the risk of email threats. We've talked about numerous times, phishing, spam, and even malware deliveries that could impact your business. By minimizing these risks, you protect your organization's assets and reputation from potential damage. A secure email infrastructure can also improve delivery rates by reducing the likelihood of emails being flagged, blocked, or quarantined due to being marked as spam. This ensures that important messages reach the intended recipients in a timely manner. A secure email environment demonstrates, again, your commitment to protecting your customer's data. This is important for compliance regulations such as GDPR, ISO, and SOC 2, and maintaining a trustworthy posture. You also minimize your risk of threats, reducing the liability and potential lawsuits or financial losses. A secure email environment also ensures that critical business communications are delivered reliably and securely, reducing disruptions to your operations. Thus, your brand awareness. Implementing robust email can enhance your brand's image by demonstrating that you will protect both yourself, your customer data, and your environment from the risk that 
of doing business via email. So how does email security enhance your reputation? It demonstrates that you will protect and maintain security. Builds trust because you minimize the risk of your customers receiving malicious emails from your domain. And it helps reduce the threats that you have to your brand being smeared by you being the one that's delivering ransomware, malware, and other malicious files to your customers. You can reduce phishing attacks by implementing SPF, VCAM, and DMARC. You can ensure that spam never makes it to your user's inbox, thus reducing the risk when your users interact with email and Google, Outlook, and other mail clients. And email security protects against malware attacks by bl blocking suspicious attachments and links that could compromise your organization, such as quarantining or rewriting URLs to make sure that the user cannot land on a malicious site. You will continue to increase your delivery rates as we've talked in other slides because you're not being flagged or blocked by spam filters. You will continue to help make sure that business communications that are critical are delivered timely and securely. And finally, your users and customers will see you as a person who takes their data seriously. So essentially maintaining these things such as SPF, DCAM, and DMARC enables you to be trustworthy, to be an organization where they feel comfortable sharing and interacting with your, your individuals, your emails, thus protecting your organization's brand reputation from potential damages. So now that wraps up my introduction to SPF, DCAM, and demarcation and the impacts it has on your organization's email security. So in conclusion, email security is a critical aspect of maintaining your business, making sure that you protect your organization's assets and reputation. Ensure that you reduce your risk enhance your reputation while ensuring that your organization is ready and able to handle the threats that come along with email. So now, go evaluate your organization's current email security measures and identify areas for improvement. If you have yet to set these up, set up SPF, DCAM, and DMARC for your domains and configure them correctly to ensure maximum effectiveness. And as we talked about, schedule regular reviews to make sure that your records are maintained and effective. So by taking these steps, you can enhance your organization's posture via email and protect your assets and reputation. I appreciate you taking time today. Email security is something that I've spent a decent amount of my career on, and email is one of the hardest things that you will ever have to protect in your organization. It's hard to stop emails. But by implementing these controls, you are reducing the attack surface of interacting with your emails day in and day out. Check your settings, review them often, and ensure that you are being due diligent by educating your users on proper email hygiene. Thank you for your time. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. And I look forward to sharing more security tips, tricks, and awareness with you. Check out my YouTube shorts where I give a daily food for thought around security awareness, cyber defense, and mentoring. And feel free to check out my live sessions that I will be continuing to put out in 2025. Until then, stay safe and stay secure.